Hello students, welcome to the online NPTEL course User Interface Design. In, uh, in the previous class, we uh, started, this, uh, we discussed about the generic design methodology of uh, user, uh, user centric approach of uh, interface design. So, uh, today we will start with the detailed uh, process, step by step process of uh, the design. So, first we, uh, as we were, uh, uh, we have already discussed, this is a bottom up approach of design and water, uh, waterfall model or the iter iterative uh, approach of design. And uh, so, we start with the user research and uh, today we will uh, discuss about the user research process and then we will continue to, uh, towards the next sta uh, stages of design. So, uh, as we have discussed earlier, so uh, here, um, this process of design is a qualitative process mostly there can be correlation there can be ex uh, experimental in few cases if we are uh, correlating to um, uh, three different phenomena or uh, ethnographic survey or um, uh, si a similar um, user group then it can uh, go into correlational research and then we if we are doing some experiments in um, artificial setup then it can be experimental and then simulation if we are running some simulation for example eye trackers and other uh, testing devices if we are uh, applying then it can but mostly the research process is qualitative research that we have uh, earlier discussed in generic design methodology so let's talk about the qual qualitative research and how uh, what is the process what are the tools and techniques and tactics of qualitative research Research. And similarly, if uh, you want to correlate few um, uh, uh, similar phenomena to qualitative research and then correlation will be uh, the, uh, the process of correlation. And uh, experimental and simulation, we will be discussing uh, how, uh, how uh, it, uh, this research can be experimental in the later stage when we will discuss few different tools and techniques of eye tracking and which can be uh, one of the process of uh, making an experimental research in uh, user centric approach of uh, interaction design. So, in qualitative research, uh, qualitative research is a multi mode, uh, meth uh, it has a multi method and focus involving interpret uh, this the characteristics is interpretation uh, 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 in a naturalistic approach of uh, where the subject matters. So, in the natural uh, setup, this, uh, the subject, uh, subject matter will be explored and what uh, they are. Uh, doing what the subjects are doing in the natural uh, setup that is the uh, one of the characteristics of the qualitative research. Now, uh, next is this means the qualitative research uh, just study things in the natural settings attempting to uh, make sense or interpret phenomena in terms of the meaning or uh, meanings people bring to them. So, there are two uh, uh, process one is uh, the natural setup and the human behavior, human or the user, um, user behavior. So, this, uh, this relation of natural setup uh, in within the natural setup how people behave. So, that is the main feature of the qualitative research. Within the natural setting if uh, the subject has been given a task how do they perform within a setup that is the approach of qualitative research. So, uh, in the qualitative research there is no uh, uh, generally, they, uh, uh, people are studied in the real environment, so there is no artificial environment created or artificial simulation is not uh, been run. So, if, uh, if you run a simulation or artificial uh, environment, then it might uh, go to the experimental research or simulation research. Now, qualitative research involves the study, uh, studied use of collect, uh, collection of variety of empir uh, empirical uh, material and it can also be different. Uh, uh, different amalgamation of different methods, so different approach to study the same uh, uh, same behavior in the natural setup can be co compared, and then uh, users, uh, uh, then the designers um, uh, interpret uh, the user experience designers interpret why uh, this phenomena or this kind of behavior is happening. Now, what are the characteristics of the qualitative research? Emphasis on natural setting uh, that uh, I was telling in the previous sli uh, slide. So, researchers uh, use res uh, research tactics that in engage people within the context uh, uh, being uh, studied. So, this is the natural setup uh, and this is the pupil or the user and this correlation has uh, will be studied how they behave within the natural setup. While the context uh, itself is studied uh, in the natural state and uh, why the natural setup is so important because people's behavior is not an isolated uh, uh, thing. So, it, uh, it is uh, uh, being guided by the natural setup and uh, the context in which context they are behaving this way that is also very important. If the context or the natural setup changes their behavior might change. Uh, given if you can give the same task 
uh, to uh, task to perform uh, the users. So, and uh, in the in the natural setup one, uh, users might behave. The behavior might be uh, different in natural setup uh, two. Same user group, uh, same task can give you different be, uh, behavior. So that uh, uh, that's why the uh, relation between the natural setup and the user is uh, very important. And uh, researchers or designers has to look at why this uh, behavior is happening in correspondence with the particular given setup. This means the qualitative researchers study things in their natural settings, attempting to make sense of or interpret phenomena in terms of the meaning of people bringing to them. Now, this is one of the example has been done by uh, uh, one of the student of Ema student of IIT Roorkee, Irfan Khan. Uh, so, he have studied the uh, wayfinding behavior of a Meherroli archaeological park and uh, in a, in a, uh, which is a heritage precinct and within the precinct uh, different uh, uh, monuments are there and scattered in a uh, landscaped uh, area and uh, he have applied uh, different techniques. So, multiple strategy or multiple technique to uh, interpret the human behavior is also very important. First technique is a questionnaire. So, he have prepared this questionnaire and people answered, uh, users answered this questionnaire. So, how do they feel and how, whether they can navigate within the uh, landscape uh, uh, precinct, heritage precinct and uh, whether they are getting lost or whether it is uh, well designed or the signages are uh, helping them or not. Uh, next, after this uh, uh, task, they have done a. Uh, he have conducted a second task, which is they wa uh, he wanted to create, uh, ask uh, uh, users to create uh, the mind map or the what do they interpret about the how how the map of the uh, surrounding is. Um, uh, is getting perceived by the users. So, they have drawn, users have drawn these maps in, in different format. So, these two are the mind maps. And the next uh, uh, task was um, how uh, in from one, uh, so the, he have asked them to perform a task from uh, location A to uh, location B, how do they go. So, uh, different users have uh, given different uh, directions. So, based on these uh, three tasks, uh, questionnaire uh, drawing the uh, mental map and uh, drawing the route or uh, the navigation sequence of the navigation. Uh, he uh, tried to interpret whether this uh, uh, area performs uh, properly or not, whether the navigational, uh, uh, whether there is any problem in the navigation or not. So, after that he came up with uh, two, uh, one uh, web based application and an another mobile application to uh, uh, for giving the information about the heritage precinct and uh, for better navigation of that. So, uh, through this ethnographic survey, different tools and uh, techniques of um, survey which he have conducted within the natural setup, he have uh, come up with the design. Uh, so, it lead, uh, it starts with the user's behavior in the natural setup and then how, whether they are uh, finding problems and based on that uh, design solution. Now, uh, folk, uh, another characteristics of this uh, ethnographic, so, uh, of uh, this qualitative research is focus on interpretation and meaning. Uh, so, wh why they are doing, uh, so one is natural setup and uh, another is user group and then what is the uh, salient meaning going, uh, going behind. So, that might not be uttered by the user users uh, sometimes will not tell you uh, why they are performing, but uh, that is uh, researchers and uh, designers uh, job to interpret why what is the, uh, uh, the meaning intangible meaning going behind. The researchers should not only ground their work in the em uh, empirical realities of the observation and uh, uh, the in interviews, but uh, should also make clear that they play an important role in interpreting and making sense of what uh, the data is. So, what uh, might not be the visible uh, visible uh, parameters of the uh, visible observation, but what is the uh, meaning going behind why people are performing that uh, layer of in interpretation should also uh, be derived from uh, by the users or researchers. An in-depth engagement with the participants uh, fosters communication and understanding. So, uh, the task what uh, uh, the fact and researchers are doing. So, what are the special and intangible meaning that should also uh, should be interpreted by the researchers. Now, another characteristics of uh, uh, the qualitative research is focus on how respondents make sense of their own circumstances. An essential aspect is to explore each participant's interpretation of the workplace in his or her own terms. Uh, for example, an in-depth interview or analysis from a contextual perspective provides insight of real problem. 
So if you understand, uh, if your first stage is uh, natural setup and the user, so that um, um, if, if a designers and researcher has to co uh, correlate that. Next, the what is the meaning going behind? So uh, uh, everything might not be tangible, intangible meaning. And next is the uh, finding the real problem uh, that uh, can be identified in the next stage. So for example, this is a, a red dot award winning uh, designs so uh, they have uh, designers have designed a button redesigned a button for elderly so it performs the same task so it is a button of shirt and it uh, looks uh, look wise also it's not uh, very drastically different so from button it does not go to hook or uh, velcro so it is still a button but minor change uh, is um, is creating this bu button so unique and uh, so user friendly so this button uh, is a economically designed and little tweak in the button so that the grip uh, is better. So it might uh, might be very lit, uh, it might not be even be a problem for uh, the other uh, demographic uh, uh, segment of the user group. But uh, for elderly, grip is a real problem. So their uh, grip becomes feeble and then uh, that exactly is the problem. So uh, through the natural setups by uh, seeing what how they perform the particular task and what exactly the problem is, uh, based on that a very minor tweak in the product is uh, creating uh, this design so unique. That's why it uh, got the red dot award. So this is how the final uh, button looks like. So it's not very drastically different from what the existing solution is, but uh, it changes uh, the user experience um, a lot. Now, uh, the next characteristics is the user of uh, the usage of multiple tactics. So uh, it uh, might not be just one way of uh, looking at things. There can be a same task in or a different task in uh, to understand what is the phenomena going on, why people are doing it. So multiple tactics uh, uh, to um, a multiple strategy to look at the same problem should be applied by the user. Sometimes users just observe. Uh, the people to uh, how they are behaving so they don't even give uh, give them any task sometimes the tasks are very uh, well defined so uh, sometimes uh, designers tell them to perform this task and sometimes designers just observe how people uh, how users are behaving so it can be very um, uh, well delineated uh, to just uh, a scattered and uh, just an observation just a photographic documentation or videographic documentation or it can also be a uh, just a discussion and uh, a discussion within the natural setup why you have performed that and why you have done or it can be a detailed questionnaire so there are many other uh, many tactics uh, depending on what kind of uh, user groups are depending on the users so some users might be uh, very uh, comfortable of uh, doing a particular task some users might not be and what exactly you are trying to uh, design so uh, the des uh, based on the design need also it will differ so it is very difficult to tell which tactics will work better and uh, which tactics will not work so it has to be a designer's decision to understand whether this uh, task has to be very well defined or it will be a free uh, it will be just an observation so uh, or it can be a, co a communi uh, combination always combination works better because from different uh, typology of tasks uh, different uh, insights come out uh, so uh, it's a bright college uh, our piece uh, our different pieces together close knit set pra practices that provide solution to a problem in a concrete situation uh, so this has been uh, told by a user uh, researcher sometimes constructed or uh, created from a diverse range of things the idea of Bright College uh, uh, is uh, implicitly suggested that qualitative researcher will employ a range of tactics, uh, range of tactics not just one, that are both particular to the context being uh, studied and of, um, and of course appropriate to the research questions being asked. So one th uh, thing has to be ke uh, kept in mind which is contextually uh, uh, you can create different, uh, different, you can employ different uh, tactics but all these tactics has to be contextually relevant. If you create just to um, increase the number of ta tactics, a uh, few tactics which is not even contextually relevant and not even uh, corresponding to the particular uh, user group, it might not help you to lead in, uh, to get any insight. So every uh, tactics has to be contextually relevant, why you are doing this, uh, taking this um, uh, uh, tactics to in, uh, interpret uh, the behavior, that has to be uh, kept in mind and then multiple tactics will definitely help you. 
So, an example of multi-tactic qualitative research may uh, uh, be seen in uh, Karen K uh, Kedi's study of experience of a hospital sur surgical unit uh, from the perspective of nursing staff. This is an example of how multiple uh, different uh, strategies can be uh, uh, can help. Rather than focusing on how nursing uh, staff's productivity might be increased uh, through design um, interventions, KD uh, sought to provide a more holistic understanding of physical uh, nature of nursing work and the physical environment from the nurse's perspective. He wanted to understand the nurse's psych uh, psychological uh, the behavior along with the social co uh, uh, the uh, context of the uh, special context. So, wide variety of tactics has been em employed. So, these are a few tactics he have uh, KD has uh, KD um, uh, is employed um, KD uh, to, uh, took the help of uh, these different tactics. So, one is structured in the in depth interviews uh, which is questionnaire and interviewing uh, the nurses uh, based on a st very structured uh, questionnaire based interview. One is location mapping, mapping the location and uh, it can be through trail mapping. So, you just uh, observe where people are uh, going, wh what task they are performing in different location. If this is a map of a hospital um, uh, and then where uh, nurses are situated and wh what task they are performing uh, and uh, how this space is behaving in different uh, uh, area and how they are interacting within uh, the different spaces. So, that can be location uh, mapping, then photo documentation just clicking photo uh, photographs observing how they are interacting with a particular uh, space and uh, uh, just uh, it can be photo documentation, it can be also video documentation. Then architectural inventories, what are the architectural features are there and how, uh, what are the products and wh wh what are the features and how these uh, features are interacting with the user group place uh, centered behavioral mapping. So, yeah, each and every uh, different place, uh, in different place how people's behaviors are changing. Then focused observation, uh, particular place has been uh, selected which uh, where uh, the, um, uh, the focus uh, uh, is required which is a critical uh, uh, for the design, uh, it, uh, the decision has to come from the designers and a focused uh, that area and how people are um, uh, interacting with the particular space, uh, that is a focused observation of a particular area is one. And this is an interest, uh, interesting uh, tactic what he have um, uh, included an image based visual exercise called an experimental collage. This is quite unique for this uh, particular uh, task where he uh, tried to interpret how nurses behave in the hospital. So, this is unique in uh, terms of this particular uh, task, it can be uh, some other kind of task which is unique to uh, interpret that particular task and it has to be a decision from the designers or the user researcher. Uh, so, uh, and what unique tactic will lead you to the, uh, lead you to the interpretation of a particular um, uh, uh, particular behavior of uh, the phenomena which is happening within the natural settings. So, uh, this is how it looks like. So, he uh, have asked the nurse, uh, nurses to create a collage based on their psychology within the um, hospital. So, that gives a meaning making. So, uh, the first tangible things what he is observing that he can just observe how they are behaving, but this intangible part wh why people are behaving like that, what, what is the psyche of the nurses and uh, that to understand that because meaning is one of the intangible part uh, which has to be uh, understood by uh, the researcher that is the uh, 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 cracks of the uh, qualitative research and designer has to uh, un interpret that otherwise the design should not have the empathy uh, to uh, lead you to the next uh, level of design. So, uh, um, uh, asking them to make this collage uh, helps him, uh, him to interpret the psychology and he uh, interprets the meaning of the uh, the intangible meaning why uh, people are behaving, uh, the nurses are behaving like that in this particular way. So, these are few collages uh, created by the nurses. So, uh, the said data of collection of uh, tactics focus is not uh, so much on the quant quantitative uh, data, but it is the qualitative and uh, the second layer of data which helps him to inter interpret what uh, uh, to give, uh, give a better in insight um, uh, on this particular task. Uh, so, next uh, we will discuss about the strategies of qualitative approaches. One is one strategy is ethnography, another strategy is 
uh, the phenomenology. Another is uh, grounded theory, which is uh, which we are not discussing. Uh, if you are interested, you can read more about the grounded theory, ethnography, and um, phenomenology. One, uh, the first uh, strategy is ethnography. Ethnography, phenomenology, these are um, uh, these are quite uh, similar. But there are slight differences, and uh, uh, but they all fall under the qualitative research technique. Ethnographic research emphasizes in uh, in-depth engagement with the site-specific settings, most uh, especially through the active and uh, thorough observation. So, ethno means people, uh, graphy means study. So, people's study within a particular natural setup is what ethnography is. The instead of taking people's answer for granted, you observe and try to interpret why people are doing uh, and what they are doing. So, um, many of the cases people will answer something, but what they are performing uh, from that there can be the answer might uh, not be the tr uh, true answer all the time because they have a, uh, a psychological background. They might. Uh, try to defend uh, something, what they are performing. So, that has to be um, understood by the uh, researchers. So, what they are uh, saying might not be the right thing. So, that is why on, uh, observing the pe um, people's behavior in a natural setup uh, and uh, interpreting the meaning why uh, they are doing that, that is a uh, very important uh, part of the uh, st user study. The characteristics, uh, context rich detail. So, all the time, uh, uh, what is the context of uh, this perform um, behavior? What is the context of answering this question has to be documented. Just the answer, just the behavior will not make sense. Uh, for example, while uh, 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 Kate was studying uh, the nurse's behavior, he was studying according to the particular space, in particular space, why they are behaving. And also, he wa uh, wanted to inf um, uh, infer uh, what is the psyche and then from there why they be, uh, uh, they behaving in that way based on their psychological mind setup. Now, uh, that is why this context uh, is uh, very important. Then, uh, re uh, reliance on unstructured data. All the time, this data might not be structured. Uh, sometimes, a uh, uh, researcher has to let users talk and which might not be within the questionnaire. So, it might deviate from the questionnaire and uh, sometimes research uh, users might need to add some point, researcher has to listen to that. So, it should not be always whatever the questions are, uh, just it uh, will be multiple choice, it might uh, should not be. So, there has to be an elaborative answer based um, uh, questions and uh, where uh, user can, uh, can express their free, uh, free view. And sometimes uh, it might not be even within the question, uh, questionnaire which users want to uh, say. And always you, uh, designers and researcher has to ask why they are doing it. So, one question, question should not be a, uh, a, a yes or no question. So, if they are performing something, so user uh, and designer should ask them why, why you have done this. So, uh, based on this uh, why questions, um, uh, if you want ask why, then lot of answers um, uh, users will tell and which will be very important for the next stage design. A fo uh, focus on single case or small number of cases. It is not uh, It is not a statistical uh, research. Qualitative research is uh, different from quantitative research. In quantitative research, large a number of data set is very important. If uh, somebody is researching on the rainfall data or something related to people's economy or um, uh, uh, economy of a particular uh, people and how many people uh, are um, employed, unemployed, then a large number number of data set is required to in, uh, get the number. Because here uh, in qualitative research, we are not dealing with the number, we are dealing with people's behavior. So, in that uh, 15 number of uh, uh, user study is uh, in, in a good uh, number. So, you can uh, stud uh, study uh, different research paper in qualitative research, how many number of how many set of users they are taking, what is the uh, best data set. But here the data set is not very high. Um, uh, the most important part is uh, the in-depth research in uh, each and every subject. So, subject number can be maximum 15 or more uh, plus minus 5. Uh, five. So, uh, not less than 10 uh, for a better understanding from each and every segment of the user. And if the user segment differs, then again it should be 15 for each and every segment. So, 15 is a uh, uh, general thumb rule and common uh, decided number. So, if you study 15 people in uh, in depth 
um, a manner and uh, interpret their behavior, that will be good enough because everybody's behavior will not differ. If they're in a particular uh, demographic setup, um, they're in a particular uh, uh, similar type of user group, their behavior to a par a particular with a uh, particular uh, user interface will not differ. So uh, it will differ if the, their user segment group changes. So if you study uh, teenage uh, just behavior uh, to book a flight and uh, uh, elderly people's uh, 60 years old behavior uh, in uh, uh, while booking a, a flight that will differ but uh, 15 uh, uh, teenagers behavior towards uh, 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 while they are booking a flight will not have much difference if they are from a same uh, place so it might even differ if they are from different country or different uh, language is an issue but if they are they're demographically they are falling under the same segment their behavior will not um, differ so within uh, uh, rather than going broad into a large number of data set in depth study for only 15 data, uh, data, uh, data uh, user uh, cases can be good enough if the study is detailed Data analysis that emphasizes the interpretation of the meaning and function of the human action is the uh, important part. Now, ethnographic research emphasizes in in-depth engagement uh, with site-specific setting, most especially through active and uh, thorough observation. So, this is uh, an important part, thorough and active observation, not the number of user group and site-specific uh, correlation with the, uh, uh, with the user or the contextual correlation. So, its uh, site does not mean uh, only the special site, it will be the correlation with the interaction between the product in ter terms of user interface. The how uh, they are interacting with the uh, digital interface or if there is a product with a digital interface, how they are handling the product with the digital interface, that has to be studied and correlating uh, the context with the environment. The researchers is like early uh, to employ part, uh, participants observation. The term is frequently used to refer to a situation in which the researchers play a naturally occurring established role in the situation under the study. For instance, the researchers identity might, uh, might be known by few or many or uh, revealed in more or less uh, in the detail. So, a researcher might tell them, I am the researcher uh, and I would like to ask you a few questions and, uh, uh, for, for a detailed guided technique and sometimes he might not, he might just observe the people and document silently from a uh, distance so to um, see the, um, uh, uh, to, to get an unbiased uh, uh, feeling of how people behave. Sometimes if you introduce to the um, uh, yourself to the users, then they, their behavior might be biased um, because they are uh, they will feel that they are obs uh, getting observed and uh, sometimes it uh, it is required, sometimes it is not. And a uh, few cases there are uh, this usability testing lab where uh, there is a one-sided mirror. Uh, so the uh, users perform the task, uh, interact with the digital interface in a one room and then uh, uh, designers and researchers sit in the other room where there is a one-sided mirror. So it des uh, designers can see how people are performing. Uh, within um, uh, interacting with the interface, but um, uh, the subjects or the users uh, will not uh, get to know whether people are observing them. So it's uh, uh, like this is a if this is the room, and if this is the one-sided uh, mirror, and this is the other room where uh, designers sit, and this is where the users. Um, go and then uh, through this one-sided mir mirror, des uh, designer can see the users, but user cannot see. They this uh, they will perceive this. There is just a mirror, and they will. Uh, but this is a glass for the user. So this also changes based on the darkness. If this is dark and this is illuminated, they will see the reflection. So uh, f uh, in this process, the designers can observe the users, uh, but users will not know the uh, and users' behavior will be unbiased. Uh, so, this is one of the ethnographic uh, uh, service example which has been done uh, by me uh, with an, uh, one of my colleague. So, uh, we wanted to study what is, uh, what people uh, in, the, in this Indian demographics based on their age, profession, uh, lo uh, location of user set, economic status and gender, what people uh, want to see in the, what type of uh, TV serials or TV uh, or movies people want uh, people 
like. So it has been ranked and then data has been displayed like that. Uh, so based on age, uh, gender, profi uh, profession, cricket, politics, religi uh, 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 religion, domestic relation and Bollywood. So these are few topics uh, has been correlated and then it has been mapped. Based on that, uh, the Bollywood has been uh, selected as uh, app de uh, development process. Uh, app uh, the feature of app development because many of the people were qu quite co um, correlating themselves with the Bollywood and then a uh, uh, game has been designed for Samsung uh, smart TV app uh, application. The task was to design a TV application uh, which is uh, which can be game, which can be uh, informative, entertainment, anything. But uh, based on this uh, survey that what people watch and how they interact with the uh, TV when they're sitting in front of the TV. What do they need to watch? And then there was uh, some um, other situations where, where in what time of the day they are watching. So based on that, this has been selected and uh, this has been designed. So this is uh, published in this paper. So another uh, process of a strategy of uh, qualitative approach is phenomenology. This is slightly different from ethnography. As described by John uh, Cresswell, uh, is the, uh, that the researchers aim to clarify the essential and underlying meaning of the experience where ex uh, experience contains both the uh, outward appearance and inward con consciousness uh, based on the memory, image and meaning. In ethnography, what uh, the emphasis is uh, what people are doing in terms of natural setup. That was the main emphasis of ethnography, what uh, we are observing uh, people to do. And it can be a, si a silent observation from far uh, in the natural setup, or they can come to the lab and interact with the interface. Because we are discussing of the, about the user interface, they can interact with the user interface, where uh, designers silently watch from the other side of the room, where uh, there's a uh, one-way mirror. Or uh, it can be very structured where uh, designers come in front of the users and they uh, 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 ask them to perform some structured task. Um, it can be flight booking, it can be interacting with an app, it, it can be any, any other thing. Or a structured questionnaire when they ask uh, very struct uh, structured question and also listen to uh, the users when, uh, uh, if they want to add something. But in phenomenology, what happens is the most, uh, mostly the emphasis is in the meaning making, the interpretation of a phenomena. So phenomena is observed and then the meaning why uh, this is happening. So that uh, becomes a phenomenological research. So the, in the uh, example when we were talking about the nurses example, when uh, the nurses are behaving in a particular um, a particular space, how they are behaving, that uh, will be more closer to the ethnographic research. And while uh, he, um, uh, the researcher is uh, trying to interpret the uh, sci uh, psychology of the nurse through this collage and other techniques, that might be uh, uh, towards more of phenomenological research when he is trying to observe the phenomena and trying to interpret the meaning of the phenomena. So phenomenological uh, research is not exact; uh, uh, it, it has a lot of emphasis on the meaning of a um, part of it. So it is the next uh, layer is much more important, just uh, not just the observation and uh, the truth what is happening. So uh, this is an example uh, uh, of app uh, development which we have done. So uh, the uh, task was to uh, design a educational app for the school children. And many of the uh, task has been given uh, to them, so they, uh, many of the um, uh, observations were like uh, they wanted to draw, so they liked uh, drawing something, so this haptic sensation was quite important. And uh, many of the subjects like uh, uh, language, uh, science, or history and geography, social sci sciences, so these has been correlated where people are weak. So many different tactics were there and what they like, like uh, uh, sketching, drawing, and uh, how do they like, um, uh, um, like their education system, uh, uh, what type of uh, typology of education. Uh, will be more interesting. So all based on all these uh, different um, surveys, our uh, app has been designed. So this is the final app where uh, the subject is selected as um, uh, the geography was uh, selected by, because of the observation of uh, that particular school uh, which has been studied. And then different ways of learning ge uh, geography was designed. So one is uh, like a puzzle game because uh, there's a, 
uh, gamification it has been done because uh, they wanted uh, to, um, the uh, children were more inclined towards uh, gamified version and games rather than uh, uh, formal classroom study. So these meanings has been de uh, deciphered. Uh, through different types of tasks, so task uh, where uh, like uh, they, uh, they were even asked to draw something, and then different typology of tasks were there. So it was not a direct yes no answer. Through that, this um, decision has been taken. In the previous example, where the Bollywood has been uh, uh, has been selected, so that was a very structured yes no answer and observing the people. But here, because uh, we were do uh, dealing with uh, children, so they did not give a very uh, direct answer. So uh, the psychology and the interpretation of their action was more important. So that uh, so this becomes uh, more of a phenomenological research. But both ethnography and phenomenology is quite uh, uh, similar. So a lot of uh, tactics superimposed with each other. So it's not a very different approach. So uh, how you look at the things uh, just uh, based on that, uh, this differs. Uh, so if we look at the fi uh, final design uh, as well, so uh, they uh, have this pr provision of coloring tools. So uh, when they uh, one uh, one process of um, uh, sorting this puzzle and putting these puzzles within that, and another was uh, the coloring tools. So they draw this uh, areas of rice growing. Uh, 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 area and other things, and then they uh, just paint this uh, uh, through different colors. So these colors, are color buckets, are like legends. Uh, rice has a particular color, wheat has particular color, cotton has particular color. So they, they just fill this, and which gives the experience of game. And uh, there were a lot of other interfaces like um, um, videos. So there were video lectures where interactive. Uh, sessions are there and then um, um, uh, the rainfall and other things were shown as a video so those adds the gamified um, uh, learning experience so this decision has been taken based on uh, the child psychology and what type of education they want to um, uh, what um, uh, term, uh, what typology of learning experience will they prefer in the next class, we will discuss of uh, based on this data collection, which uh, we are uh, strategies, uh, what are the other tools and techniques, and how to represent these collected data and uh, reduce the data and perceive the data and try uh, to uh, uh, interpret the meaning in a different way and towards more uh, the uh, final um, design decisions. That will be discussed in the next class.